Welcome to the Learning Center for Q7 software. This is the first of a series of introductory screencasts that will introduce you to Q7 basic features and concepts. By the end of this video tutorial, you will know how to install Q7 on your machine, create and run a simple test. Q7 is designed specifically for testing Eclipse applications, so we will take Eclipse SDK as our application under test. First, you have to go to our website and download Q7 from Q7 Downloads page. We will use Q7 Community Edition for Windows 32-bit. As soon as you are done with it, open Q7 folder and run the program. When you launch Q7 for the first time, you will see a workspace dialog that looks so familiar. While working with Q7, you will find lots of features that were inherited from Eclipse family, such as hotkeys and other useful tricks. Now Q7 is up and ready to help us with testing our Eclipse application. Let's create our first project. Go to File, New, Q7 Project. In the new project wizard, we enter the project name and click Finish. Our new project will appear in Q7 Explorer. But before we create our first test case, we will add Eclipse SDK as our application under Test. First, in the Applications view, we click the New Application button. We can now browse for the folder that contains our Eclipse application. If a correct folder with a valid Eclipse application is selected, Q7 will analyze this folder and register it as an application under test. When the progress window closes, click Finish. Q7 will now save our application under test configuration for further use. You can later find it in the Applications view. Now let's run the selected application with the Run button. Q7 launches Eclipse SDK using its safe configuration. You will be fully controlled by Q7 and prepared for testing. When the program window opens, you can place it right next to Q7 Workbench or wherever it seems convenient for you. QA engineers on our team would recommend using a second monitor. As soon as it's launched, we can start with creating our first test case. We open the new test case wizard using the context menu of Q7 Explorer. New Test Case. We now enter the name of our new test case and check the test location. We then hit the Finish button and the test editor opens in Q7 Workbench. We can now record the test using the Record button. When you hit Record, the control panel opens in a separate window. Q7 Control Panel is a tool which provides full access to the recording options. It's a major part of Q7 when it comes to recording and capturing. We switch to our application under Test and create a new Java project. As we proceed, all our actions are being recorded as an ACL script on the script tab of the control panel. You can see that the test script that appears as we go is clear and intuitive. Now that we have finished our first simple test, we stop recording with the stop button. We may now close Q7 control panel or replay the test case right away. If we close Q7 control panel now without saving the test, a dialog appears. Click Yes and the test will be saved. Our test case opens in the test editor. We can now replay it. However, before we run the test, we switch to Eclipse Workbench and delete the existing project. This has to be done so that we can create this project again from scratch. We go back to Q7 and run our test case with the Replay button. We can see our recorded actions being replayed in the application under test. When the testing ends, its results are listed in the execution view. We can also switch to the application under test and verify that our new Java project has appeared on Eclipse Workbench. As you can see, our first test has passed successfully. However, it wasn't fully automated as we expected it to be since we had to delete a project from the Eclipse workspace. We can go all the way and extend our test case to ensure that it will be run in proper environment. Or instead, use Q7.2 that takes care of this and goes way beyond that. It's called Q7 Contacts and it supports the key principle of automated testing. Each test case should be independent. In our next screencast, we'll learn more about contexts and how they can make your life easier. Thank you for watching our screencast on Q7 Basics. Please take time to visit our website and try out Q7 by Zorin.